It's Friday and the Tour Auto level of competition has reached a peak, while some cars have had to retire. Today, there are 399 kilometers to go in order to reach Marseille by the evening. The route includes two stages and a race on the Ledenon circuit. The teams leave Valence at 7 a.m. After a short liaison, the competition takes its course. They have to race for 16 kilometers in the direction of the center of saint julien de Gua. Antreg. The village of Jean Ferrat is an absolute must for the Tour Auto. The teams make a stop to refuel at La Hermise. A strawberry tart is offered on the house and no one can refuse. For me it's all the rally memories. R5 Turbos, Ragnotti, Andre, Michel Mouton all met here. La Hermise is fantastic. It's a legendary place for us to visit. For more than 50 years, the house has welcomed all the great rally drivers and the proprietors are very proud. The judgment is instinctive. This is a control that is not mandatory. I don't know, something happened between this restaurant and the rally people of the motorsport world. It's an anecdote. Ari called me this morning at 6.15 to tell me that he was going to Valence to see if everything was ready. Driving through France with some exceptional cars, cheered by a friendly audience in a natural and magical setting. And that is the principle of the Tour Auto. Today, between Aubenas, Vallon Pont d'Arc, Les Gorges de l'Ardèche, and the Pont Saint Esprit, the scenery is breathtaking. Relief roads that connect the villages are perched higher than each other and always impress. Evidently, the Tour Auto arouses passions well beyond the borders of France. So I came from Hong Kong, but the car came from uh, London. And this is the actual car that did the 1960 Monte Carlo Rally. Uh, works car, so uh, Jap and uh, the factory worker from, some, from uh, Sunbeam, they raised the car. Uh, in Le Mans and also in, uh, in the Monte Carlo, Monte Carlo Rally in the 1960s. For lunch, the roadshow makes a pause at the Abbey de Boucher, a building with a cellar for ageing wines. Again, the French way of life makes sense on the Tour Auto, as is shown by Michel Chabran, the star chef of a restaurant located on the N7 that is used for the test. It's the complete essence of our French culture that is seen. What is nice on this Tour Auto is having these kids say cuckoo, hello. We must not lose that. When they are world champions, they must remain the same. The second stage of the day saw some damage. As we can see with car 204 of Andrew Beverly and Mike Humphrey. Their AC Cobra, driven at the time by Elliot Forbes Robinson, was stopped on the side of the road. Bypassing the Arc de Triomphe Orange, the competitors of the Tour Auto take a turn to compete on a more hilly circuit. The Ledenon is the last event of the day. After the intense heat, the vintage cars rejoin the old port of Marseille. The roadshow is housed in the shadow of Musem with the air of the Mediterranean a gift before apprehending the last day of competition. <laughs> <laughs>